In this video, I'm going to talk about command bar and how we can edit command bar for our custom application. Now, this is a very simple example. Now, I have a table uh, which is named as minerals and it has like four different records uh, with a mineral column and atomic number column. Now, I've created a model driven app which uh, is basically driven by that table so i have rendered the table and if you go inside one of the record you'll be able to see all the fields listed for that specific table <clears throat> now in order to edit the command bar first we need to understand what a command bar is so as you see over here when i'm in this list this is a command bar now in command bar we can do various action we can run power effects we can run javascript we can perform some actions uh, which uh, basically is used to uh, run some process in the back end or maybe just display a message box or perform some calculation now the command bar which you see over here is a uh, like a is one type of command bar then if you select a control then this is an another type of command bar because you select one item and then you get this context of that item and if you select multiple uh, items then you get some different command bar now all this command bar belongs to some category now similarly if you go inside one of the item or one of the record then you see a command bar now this is also one type of command bar and if you have a subgrid within your application then this has a command bar over here as well so this is also one different type of command bar now what are these different type of command bar let's look into <clears throat> the example once i start creating the command bar now before you even create a command bar first what we can do is like we will create a solution so i'll just call it as kirish command bar solve i'll select a publisher and i'll click on create now before you even start editing a command bar what we need to do is like we will add the existing table so the table is middle i'll add this i'll say include all objects for time being and i will add the application the model driven application which i have created so i'll just say add existing app model driven app and the app name is mineral app so i've added mineral app and mineral table now if you see this mineral app what i'll do i'll say add required objects so if i go to advanced i'll say add required objects and click on ok now it says successfully added a required object and it has added a sitemap here as well okay <clears throat> so that's the starting point now what we can do is first we will go into this model driven app we'll open this model driven app and once you open this model driven app under that specific view for that specific table say minerals view if you select this three dot you will see something called as edit command bar now from here i will click on edit command bar and then an option is presented to me this is called as a main grid main form subgrid view and associated view now what is a main grid now main grid is the grid which you see over here so the command bar which is presented over here is a main grid command bar now there is an another option called as main form now if you want to edit something within here within a record then this is a main form command bar then the third option is subgrid view and associated view now for subgrid view this is the subgrid view command bar and for an associated view like i do not have an example but then for an associated view like say this is example like of a customer service hub application now if you go into say accounts this is the main uh grid command bar as you see on the top then if you go inside a record then that's a main form and if you have any associated records or a grid within the form so i have an example in cases so if you go into say one of the case then under case relationship, I can see a subgrid and an associated knowledge records, right? So this is like an association relationship. Now, sometimes the association relationship comes here as well. Like if you select say a couple of record and try to associate the child case, then you get something kind of a, this list for association, right? 
so this is how you basically can uh, customize the command bar. Now, what we need to do is first what we will do is we will go into say into the main grid and try to edit this. So the goal is to basically add a command over here at the top. Now that will be a very simple command. So what I've done, I've just clicked on edit under main grid and I have been presented with a, uh, an interface. Now these are the different set of command which you see uh, in the main grid like new edit show as activate so don't touch any of this form any of this buttons what we will do we will create a new command from here so if you click on new new command or you can select from here new new command if i click on new command it says create a component library now which type of command would you like to create do you want to create a power effects or a javascript now i'll say i want to create something on power effects and not on javascript now what it does in the back end it will create a component library okay so if i click on continue and in an another tab what i'll do i'll just open the solution and keep so i'll just go to the solution or uh, the solution which we have just created called as garish command bar solve so we have a table, we have a model driven app and we have a sitemap. Now, once it creates a component library, we should be able to create a command and then we will add a very simple command just to show a message box. Now that message is basically, it's it's not a message box, but I would say it's, it's kind of a notification. So as you see over here, it has added a new command with the name as new command. Now I'll name this as uh, notify staff and I can put an icon over here. I can either use an emoji directly from here. Like if I put windows dot and then I can pick an emoji from here or maybe I can select an icon. So I can use an icon or use a web resource. So if I say use an icon uh, and if I just type in page or if I type in flow or if i type something I, i'll find some icon i'll just select this icon say filter icon okay and now this icon is changed over here now under the action i wanted to run a javascript or a formula well i'll do is like i'll run a formula i'll click on open formula bar and here i will start writing the command so the first command which i'm going to write is notify now notify is just putting up a banner uh, on top of your model driven app so i'll just say uh, all staff notification and some text okay so i'll just put lorem epsom around it and after you put a double quotes, you can specify what kind of message box you want. Either you want an information success or warning. I'll just put a success so that I get a green uh, background uh, bar and also the timeout. Now I can specify timeout by after how many milliseconds this uh, bar should disappear. So I'll just put 10,000 millisecond and I'll click on save and publish. Now, if you see the solution over here, so I'll just refresh the solution. So you will see sitemap, model driven app and table. Now for model driven app, now we have seen one more component appearing over here, which is a component library. Now, why it has come? Because we have just created a new command uh, within the command bar. And that's why it has added as a part of the component library. Now, <clears throat> everything is set. If I click on play, then after a refresh you should be able to see a new command uh, added into the command bar now as you see over here i can see the new command which i've just added called as notify staff now this has appeared on this form now if i select something this will disappear right because this is not available on selection of a record but it is available at non-selection of a record so that means if this grid is loaded and no item is selected then only you will be able to see this command bar now if i go inside a record then also i will not be able to see that command bar because that context is different right and even in subgrid i will not be able to see that command bar so the command 
which I have created is notify staff. And now if I click on notify staff, then an action should trigger, which will notify uh, all of my staff just by showing you a green uh, bar because this is like a success message and it should disappear after 10 seconds. So it has already disappeared now. So after 10 seconds, so once you click on it, it will, dis it will display that message of notification and it will disappear after X millisecond, which is 10,000 millisecond, which is like around 10 seconds. So it has disappeared now. Now you can see that we have created a command over here. Now you can create multiple command. Also, you can control other aspects of the command like visibility. Now, if you want to hide or show the button based on some condition, you can even do that. You can add a tooltip title description. So what I'm going to do in my next video, I'm going to show you how to use the visibility command. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching.